Hi everybody, welcome to Taste Test Tuesday. Okay, what are we gonna be trying today? Uh, I have water here, and let's see. I think the first thing that we're gonna try are these. These are flips, they're limited edition, and they're pumpkin spice. Never tried these before, so we shall see, right? Alrighty. Pumpkin spice flips. That's what it looks like on the inside. I can smell, I can smell the spice in it. This is what they look like. So let's try it. All right. Um, I'm getting spice. I'm getting um, nutmeg. Mm. And I, there's a little saltiness to it from the pretzel. But Yeah, kind of reminds you of a pumpkin pie all over. Mm. There's the nutrition facts if you want to check it out. Mm. There's some saltiness to it. But the main flavor I'm getting is nutmeg. Mm. And guys, I'm not a fan of nutmeg at all. It has to be very, very little. And mm, these aren't my favorite. Mm, no. does though I have to say it does remind you of pumpkin pie okay that was one down two is this we're gonna try these these are by Entenmann's and they're little bites and these are banana muffins but these are made with real banana no artificial colors or flavors so, 180 calories, it says 1.5 grams of sat fat, 150 milligrams of sodium, and 17 grams of total sugars. Right here. And this is your daily value under there if you really want to check it out. And there we got that. So, yeah, they have all different kinds of flavors. I tried most of them. Never tried the banana. Hmm. Ern says it's made with real banana, so... That ought to be good, right? Let's open it up. I can still taste nutmeg. Even after a big drink of water. Yeah. Not my favorite. But if you don't mind nutmeg, then you'll like it. Okay. So they come in these little packages here. Let's open it up and see what we get. See if it tastes like real banana. They say they may make it real banana, right? All right, I have scissors, I have scissors. Ta-da! All right, much easier. Ooh, big banana. As soon as that, I got a whiff of this. It, it came right up. I smelled banana. Oh yeah. It smells, you know what this smells like though? A banana Laffy Taffy. That's exactly, exactly what it smells like, a banana Laffy Taffy to me. Like I say, everybody's taste buds are different. Everybody's scents are different. 
If I don't like something, that doesn't mean that you won't like it. You may love it. Same thing. You may love something that I don't. That's what's, that, that is what makes us all unique, right? Okay, that's what it looks like. Let's try it. Banana muffins. They look like little hats. Mm. Okay. I'm getting banana. Mm -hmm. They're good. You need something to drink with them, though. Mm. To me, it's a little on the dry side. Um, yeah. They're okay. What I would do with them is put a little jam on it or, you know, like strawberry preserves, something like that. I would put on these, mm, like slice them in half and put a little bit of jelly on it and a little bit of whipped cream. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of jelly and a little bit of whipped cream. That would do it for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm telling you guys. Okay. The next thing we got here are these. These are Mike and Ike. They say they're gluten-free and they're fat-free. And they're sour, spooky treats. Chewy assorted sour fruit-flavored candy. That's what the box looks like right there. Out for the holidays, right? So here's the flavors they have. They have sour ghoulish grape, sour orange screen, and sour wicked watermelon. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I want to try the orange. That's what they look like. I want to try the orange one. And maybe I don't I don't want to try grape. Okay, I have an orange one. Let's try it. Mmm. Oh yeah. Ooh. Flower. These are like Wow. Guys, these are sour. Mm. These would be cute in the Halloween. If you're having a little Halloween decorating. Mm. They're Halloween colors. Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Sour. Big orange flavor, though. I have to give it that. Has a big orange flavor. Look a little tilted. Let me fix you. Okay. That's better. Yeah. It gets sweeter at the end, but wow, are they sour. <laughs> oh. That was kind of fun to eat. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Woo! Made my eyes water there. Okay. Now what we're going to try are these. Dots makes these. Well, Tootsie Roll makes... Tootsie, I guess, makes it. But they're ghost dots. It says, which flavor... Which ghost is, it's a mystery. So that's what that looks like right there. And it says strawberry, lemon, lime, cherry, or orange is the flavor 
of these. But you don't know which one you're getting because they all look the same, I imagine, right? So let's get this open. I need my scissors. And see what flavor we get. If I can discern the flavor. Okay, these are not opening easy. Yeah. All right, I think I got it. It's cute. Here's the back. Isn't that cute? Again, I say it all the time. If you junk journal, journal, do any kind of journaling, look at your packaging. Because it would be so cute. You know? This would be good in the Halloween one. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. They smell... Here's what they look like. I'm not going to say what they smell like because I always have a comparison. All right, let's try it. Hmm. All right, let's see what flavor we got. See, they're all the same color. So we don't know what we're going to get. This is lime. Mm -hmm. mm. Or is it orange? I think it's orange. Could be lime. Um, I'm going to say orange. Hmm. They're a dot, all right. Let me try this one. This is cherry. Mm hmm Big cherry flavor in that. Mm. They're good. Yeah, not bad. A mystery. It's cute. Reminds me of the um jelly belly. Mystery Jelly Bellies. Okay. Now what we're going to try are these. Never seen these before. These are Swedish, Swedish Fish Marshmallows. They're Swedish Fish Flavored. Oof, say that three times. That's what it looks like right there. And let's see if it tastes like that. Smell it first. Mmm. Oh yeah, it smells like Swedish fish. Swedish fish marshmallows. Oh, look, the little lines on the tail. It's cute. Mmm. It does. This is Swedish fish and a marshmallow. They're very sweet. The, all that sugar, see it? Mmm, very sweet. One would be enough for me. Mmm. 
Oh, guys, this is a product of Italy. Interesting. It's distributed it from here, but product of Italy, right there. Did I point to the right one? My map. Right there, product of Italy. Mm. They're good. Have to try and figure out. You could even use these at a Halloween decoration, right? These can become like fingers or something. See it? Yeah. Okay. And the last thing we're going to try are these. Now, these are pizza potato chips. These came from Five Below. My son got them. He tried them, but he did not tell me what they taste like. So they are open, as you can see. And these, let's see, where were these made? These are a product of China. They're imported and distributed by a company in California. It says it's under the license and the strictest, strictest, Quality control of Calbi Incorporated Japan. So, and it's got that warning that California has on it right here. You know, the warnings that California puts on most of their things. Anyway, let's try them. They're rippled, and these are pizza potato chips, melty cheese. It says, Calbee's original pizza potato chips pack a zesty pizza kick. Mmm. Saucy drops of melted cheese, herbs, and spices are a perfect match for crunchy, rich cut potato chips. And it says Bon Appetito. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have to see what my son thought of them. They do have a, a zesty kick to it. I can taste the cheese. Mm. But are they worth that? Uh, well, a little bag like this. 2.54. I don't think so. Anyway, that's just my opinion. All right, guys. That's it for Taste Test Tuesday for today. Let me know if you tried any of these. And if you did, what did you think of them? My water's falling over here. Good thing I got the top on it. Yeah. Um, my favorite is... I have to go with these because I can think of a lot of things to do with them. The Entmans, banana muffins, because you can taste the banana in it. They're just a little, you just need something to drink with them. But other than that, they're good. I like them. Mm hmm. Yeah. So that would be my favorite. Um, my least favorite? Hmm. I don't know. Because they were all, you know, they're all, they're all pretty good. These are fun. Because you don't know what flavor you're going to get. 
These are super fun because they're super sour. Yes. Mm. And these are good if you like, you know, I'm getting nutmeg, but I usually do get that flavor when I try pumpkin spice things. I usually get that flavor. Um, but it does remind you of a pumpkin pie, so they're not bad either. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Have a safe day. And until next time, bye now.